back, coming back with another flawless video. Now, if you guys want to go from this to this, you are in the right place. Now, these are $50 halos from China. They take about a month to get in, but they are totally worth it when you have a Mazda. Now, you can go on eBay and search for other halo rings, probably around the same price for your other view. But this is specifically on my Mazda. These fit my Mazda, so any kind of Mazda 3s, they will fit. Now, I think past 2009, you have to get a different set. Headlight assemblies are different, obviously. So, now, I'm happy to say also, we hit 300 subscribers on my channel. So, thanks a lot to you guys. And if you guys do enjoy this video, comment down below, like, and subscribe on the video. So, now I'm also gonna take you through the process of what I use, because when you're resealing the headlight, if you're looking about a $10 minimum on clear coffee, so, or clear silicone, not coffee, my bad. And also, if you guys have HID assemblies like me, and you guys probably have them scuffed up or the sun dimmed them, and yeah, the UVA ray has just totally destroyed your lens. This is a very cheap way to fix that headlight, get clear results, and it's just a hundred bucks. Now, if you have HIDs, you guys probably have hooked up with assembly. It is $400 for one assembly, which is very ridiculous. But you don't want to buy halogen because, yeah, it doesn't fit. Now, you could buy a halogen assembly. Now, make sure it's up for the right year. I think 04 to 09, they're the same. But you can remove that lens and add it on to your HIV assembly, which that is what I did in the process of the video. So if you guys want more information about that, I will be helpful to help you. So let's get into this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe like I said before, and let's raise this channel. Deuces, people. What's up guys? Yeah, I'm back, done from work. Now we're gonna start the process of this headlight. It literally looks crappy because I caused this. Just don't do what I did. I might see if I can fix it when it's off, but we gotta remove the bolt on this side. And you remove this bolt here, and then you can pull out and remove the headlight. There should be a bolt here. I have took mine out already, so let's get to it. Hey guys, I have one head, uh, headlight out. I didn't even have to pull the bumper off. I just had to pull those clips out. Now, we're gonna take him inside and we're gonna do the work to it. This one we're gonna keep on just in case I have to run out. So, at least we can get this one done real quick. Okay guys, as you know, I like doing stuff in my garage, but today we're doing this inside my house because it's the most safest place for a headlight assembly. So, begin by taking your light bulbs out if you haven't already. You know, I only, the HIDs are really complicated to get out, stock, from Mazda, by the way, this is a stock HID, HID assembly. So, if you guys don't like these headlights or these bulbs, make sure not to touch these because they like to break very easily. So, anyway, we're gonna get our dryer and the headlight, the LED that I have on the front, I got some new ones. So, we're actually gonna install these on the inside also. And here's my new assembly. I'm just taking the lens off because this is for a halogen assembly. Like I said before, this is an HID. So we're going to begin by taking off this lens right here, and then we'll do the other lens, and then get everything wired up, everything put in correctly, and then we'll go from there. So let me go get my hair dryer because that's how we're going to be opening it, plus a screwdriver. They recommend baking it. I'm not going to do that because I feel like the plastic will melt, honestly. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, like I said, 
I usually don't prefer this, but set it to about 250 degrees and make sure, you know, anything's in there. Well, I just have stuff like that, but keep him in there for like five minutes. Make sure he does not smoke. Otherwise, yeah. And I have a ballast in there, by the way, so if you guys have a ballast connected to it, it's all right. Just keep it in there for a little bit, not too long, but that stuff heats up really quick, so. All right, guys, as you can see here, I pried it open. I actually did use the oven. I literally put it in for five minutes, and this stuff literally melted. I pried it a little bit. I heard a little bit of cracking, so... We're good so far though, so um, we're just going to take some of these screws out of this ring so I can get actually inside this lens. So yeah, this actually might even be screwed, it might be just pull out and pop out. Well, we'll figure it out, so let's get to it. Okay guys, you got the lens off this piece, literally was two screws holding it on it's from here and here. So let's get started. See, I already have a glossy black, I didn't, that's why it's smoked kind of looking. So anyway, we're going to install one right here, one right here, and an LHD strip right on the bottom. I'm going to go get my Dremel tool so I can actually drill into it. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, we're actually going to put this on first, just match it up, see how it looks. It actually came with some little sticky pads so that we can actually just stick it on there. Uh, I'm going to use the drill just so we can wire it through. I recommend wearing gloves so you don't get any fingerprints in here because that's all you need is a fingerprint on the inside that you're not going to enjoy. So let's get to this. Feeling cold, but my heart is feeling colder. Seems like everybody goes apart when they get older. If I started drinking, I think I'd be hardly sober. Chips on my shoulders are turning out to be boulders. I'm trying to keep my composure, and they're like, Why are you changing? This ain't how you started. Don't tell me you're broke. I want to hear you broken hearted. Talk about the stuff. Okay, guys, I have everything, you know, sealed, put down. Now I'm going to actually go pick up some wire to actually. I'm going to say. I don't know how to explain this. This one is sealed pretty well. This one, it literally is wobbling a little bit. So if I have to, I might use, you know, a little bit of super glue to hold it in or um, add some of that silicone on the bottom just to hold it in. From the back, actually, because then, you you know, you have a better vision to do it. But this is what it looks like so far. That piece is still off. Okay, guys, now I want you to come outside. You know, make sure it's, like, dark out. And make sure that your LEDs are solid colors because as I showed you, um, this is actually the ending of the video. I'm just showing you guys this, not the ending of the video, my bad. I'm just saying, just check your lights, make sure they all work. Come outside, plug it in before you install everything. That headlight was good. Just this headlight, I messed up and the colors weren't right. So, you know, anyways, I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, guys, now the headlight, in order to reseal it, just place it back on how you did, stick it back in the oven so the goo gets heated up, and squeeze as hard as you can. Then you're going to apply your new silicone over the cracks and crevices, just so that you don't get any water or anything in it. So I'm going to finish this up, and I'll see you in the end. Alright guys, I'm happy how it turned out. It looks awesome. These are just going to be two short clips, or two or more short clips. One's going to be daytime running. And then one's going to be nighttime run. So you guys can see both, you know, the effect, how it looks, if you like it. Now, it might not be able to be seen on camera fully aspect, but I tell you what, it's just beautiful. I will even throw a photo in the end just to show you what it looks like. Because the photos really pop. Like, that's really what they look like during the day. And it's 100 degree weather out, the sun shining. They look awesome. You can see them from a mile away. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces, people. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold. You might Yo, what's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed my flawless video here. Please hit that subscription in the left corner and check out my videos on the right. I hope you guys do enjoy my videos. I love creating them for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces, people.